everybody. Here I am, check it out, deep in the heart of East Texas. I'm sitting here with my neighbor and good buddy, uh, Eric. And say hi, Eric. Hey, everybody. Um, he has got a neat thing going on. I wanted to tell you all about it. No, I wanted him to tell you all about it and show you some of the neat things he's uh, got growing on in his apartment. Uh, Eric, man, uh, you have a lot of stuff growing in your apartment. What's your deal? What, what are you doing with all that? Uh, well, in a couple of weeks, when it's warm enough, we're going to go out and plant it at all the different gardens we manage as part of the Nacogdoches Food Forest Project. What? The Nacogdoches Food Forest Project? <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome, man. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, so it is... Should I look at you, the camera? Either way, man, all right. it's all good. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll switch back and forth. Uh, well, basically, we uh, are a all-volunteer collective which plants permaculture gardens for free in low-income neighborhoods, in yards and community centers, and on a sliding scale in more middle-class and upper-class areas. And... We do this uh, not to make money, but really to make food for people and make food free for people. Outside. Um, and, and yeah, this is how we get the plants through the winter and have them ready for springtime. <laughs> so you've started a lot of stuff from seeds. I know that you grow moringa. What other kind of little things you got going on down here? Uh, well, that's what these ones are, the mm -hmm. moringa oleifera. Um, and those are just a few months old, them little trees? Uh, I started these by seed outside this summer when it was real hot. Oh, so okay. Probably in August or something. I know those things but, grow real fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is a real nice one right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the reason it's kind of bent over like this is because uh, I just unwrapped this vine from it. <laughs> this vine had grabbed hold of it and started to drag it down. You see the vines are like going up this right. power cord here. <laughs> uh, they're going up this tree here. That one is kind of cool. What is uh, that stuff? That is, people call it Malabar spinach. Oh yeah, spinach. love it, love it. Uh, it's Bazella rubra, I think. And it's like not related to spinach at all. It's uh, like the Moringa, it's from India. Not grows really real well in the heat thing. too doesn't it yeah they're both like a real hot weather loving plant that's um, good for texas they're both perennial around here though they will die back in the winter uh-huh uh-huh well cool what's that big thing in the back there uh this yeah what are those these are white sapote oh wow or casomira edulis mm -hmm. and yeah have you ever eaten the fruit before? I have. It's great. It's kind of like a, it's related to the citrus, but the fruit itself is more like a, you can kind of eat the skin of it and it hmm. tastes like a custardy avocado pear. Hey, <laughs> that's cool. It's kind of like, it has that like uh, maybe mango-y consistency, but less stringy and it, and it doesn't get quite as mushy, you know? Right on. But yeah, I don't know. They, uh, they're hard to buy because they don't really last long, so people don't, they don't find their way into grocery stores. These little, uh, tree pods here. Oh yeah, those are cool planters. Um, and I just kind of put them all in there together. Oh, here's a mango. Um, this is going to have to go somewhere else. I'm going to give this to a friend who, uh, lives in South Texas. Right on. Oh, we got a lot of loquat trees too. These. Uh, okay, so this is a rather large tree pot. It's like one of the biggest ones I could get. And you see, this is like the root coming out the side there. I'm sure it's much bigger in there. Yeah. I'm leaving it in because it's going to sprout up, and I'll plant it somewhere. But this thing was, you know, died back for the winter. But the greens were like this tall. And okay. I, and. I'm, I imagine that if I left it in here for another season, this entire thing would just be tumorous. <laughs> it, it went really well, and it's it's pretty much just pure sand in here. I didn't have a good potting mix. I'm sure you could do something better, but yeah, definitely emphasize something nice and loose. On the gingers, uh, I have grown some, some gingers. Well, they sell before. they sell organic. Now, see, I there was two kinds of gingers that I saw: organic mm -hmm. ginger and. Uh, 
regular ginger and the regular ginger which was huge and kind of freakish looking and then the organic i figured i'd get the organic because well, they couldn't put any spray any retardant or well, non-sprout they, growth they thing on with well, the turmeric or they'll they'll scalp it you know, oh, they'll, they'll oh. Take care of it. and like i guess anything from hawaii is going to be going through uv oh well, I'm just I'm just playing Johnny Vegas, letting the dice roll and see what happens. Yeah, if it if it grows, cool. Got the little nubbies on it. Yeah. yeah. All right on. Cool, man. Thanks. The, the moringa. Oh man, that grew to a tree size in our backyard, and yeah, uh, yeah, they get like ten to fifteen feet tall in a good year. Well, let's see. What I really like about it is that it's. Um, very drought tolerant, it really loves the heat, uh, and it has a very efficient photosynthesis. It's called a C4 photosynthesizer as opposed to a C3 photosynthesizer, which is really just fancy, you know, <laughs> talk about how many carbons are going on with the photosynthesis. I couldn't explain the whole thing, but, right. and the entire thing is edible. You don't eat the bark, but you eat the leaves and the young shoots and the, uh, the seed pods, which get to be about this big this wide and the seeds themselves are actually really remarkable they actually purify water um, studies have shown that they have a flocculating action that removes 99 percent of bacteria after an hour and they take out all kinds of other particulates and metals and stuff it's really crazy okay they're so also tasty they take they're like a kind of spicy pea oh yeah, that's pretty cool get through the floods because it doesn't like to be waterlogged and you got to get through the winters but it's pretty doable well, that's out of sight, man. Um, well, we'll take a, a peek inside at, at your plants. What the heck is that? The papaya tree. This is uh, the only one we got started. But most of these will just direct seed. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of papayas going as well. Here. Uh, I've been planting a lot of pomegranates. They do really well. Um, I haven't gotten any, you know, it's the first season trying the papaya. See how it goes. Um, all my bananas that I planted last season made it through the winter and I already have leaves on them and it's February. Well, hey man, thanks. Uh, what, people can go and check out your uh, Facebook page. Uh, they can go to uh, Nacogdoches Food Forest. Food Forest. Food Forest Network Nacogdoches. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll write and that the down. The website is uh, foodforestnetwork.org. Excellent.